What's going on guys, your boy Maze here back with another video and in today's video guys me going over the Hell Guild Boss um, as of March 12th um, we're going to be going over pretty much uh, the way to actually score high on this and actually get the 9k plus points so that you guys can get uh, your individual reward for Hell um, so in terms of the team that I actually used here guys this is the team and in terms of the gear sets I was running um, full HP defense on everybody um, and the links as well are full HP defense um, and the reason why we're running a team like this is because of the missions actually so um, as you guys can see so clear using skills 25 times or less so you get 20% score on that clear without eating a dish so as you guys can see we are not eating a uh, you know a dish at all um, the third one is going to be using rank 3 skills 2 times which gives you 25% extra points as well so you know we're going to have to kind of farm some uh, rank 3 cards if possible and then defeat the last enemy with a human hero skill plus 30% so obviously that is a, that is why we brought um, ultimate Askinar here so in terms of like who you could swap out um, it just has to be a sin human you can bring purgatory bond um, ultimate Askinar I think is fine you can bring the one Eskinor as well um not too bad uh yeah you pretty much just have to pick like a human character that can can dish out a good amount of damage for you and also uh proc late list passive too because you want that character to get the stats um as well um from the uh, Liz basic stats so if you can get it for like ultimate Eskinor or purgatory bond then uh that's gonna be a pretty good team actually so yeah i can show you guys like as well like uh, other teams people have been running um i'm rank 19 by the way pretty crazy um but supposedly people have been running like mael margaret and tarmiel too um which i guess uh i don't know if it really makes sense to me uh caius is running uh kind of like a just an attack team pretty much just go crazy with ultimate essener um that's fair um, but yeah, and as you guys can see, there's like a Purgatory Bond comp, there's an Ultimate Eskinor comp, right? So there's like a, a few options you guys can do, um, but yeah, I feel like it's, it's you know, a little bit more difficult this week considering it's asking for, um, you know, like human race and stuff, but um, it's not going to be the worst thing in the world, so... Yeah, guys, so this is pretty much the team. In terms of the artifact card set, I wasn't running anything, uh, running anything crazy. Just full UR cards, just for the highest stats possible. And, you know, if you don't have Myel or, or Sario Link, uh, like 6 out of 6 or whatever the case, you can pretty much just put your highest CC links. That's pretty much what I did. The uh, King Link here is because uh, um, Tarmiel does get extra HP, which I, I would rather take that over, like, just a regular Link. Um, so we actually did go for that, but yeah. Um, so try and max out as much HP as you can on the team, HP defense on everybody preferably, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so I have a pre-recorded run already that I did because I, I didn't know how long it would take for me to actually get the run live, so I decided I would pre-record it. So we'll kind of talk through the video there, and then uh, we'll see what we're able to do. Alright guys, so here is the clip here of me actually uh, beating the Demonic Beast Akumu. Um, with the uh, comp right here and so I'm pretty much gonna run uh, run you guys through like my my thought process my strategy and uh, kind of going about the fight so one thing to take note as, uh, as well is that the boss will uh, do a buff removal skill with his arm um, with this arm right here so if he actually does it onto Margaret that can be really bad um, especially because you want Margaret to actually cleanse the ignites that, that get applied on the second turn um, so you want to, you know, just kind of waste all your AoE cards right here. So I do the uh, the buff card with Tarmiel. We do the AoE with Margaret, AoE with Light Liz, AoE with uh, Ultimate Eskinor, right? We just get those cards out of your hand and you want to top deck more AoE so that you can kill him uh, on this phase. So pretty much the gimmick with Akumu is that you have to kill him together with the arms um, on this phase. And then the second phase, you have to kill the arms first and then kill the main body. Um, so that's pretty much how it goes on hell. Yeah, so right there, he does get black affected on the AoEs with it, and he also does target Tarmiel right there, which is good on the buff disabled, because if you hold on to your Margaret one, you can cleanse all the debuffs, and that's really, really good. So, um, right here, I'm like, okay, let's do the double up, let's actually merge Light Elizabeth so we can hold on to that for possibly a rank 3, and we do the AoE card right there with her. And that's going to do a, a good chunk of damage, obviously we're getting her uh, full proc on her passive now, so you do get the heal go for the aoe and look how much damage the aoe does man it's insane we did like a, a crazy amount of damage right there um so that's really good so right here i'm like okay um we did top deck a aoe with margaret um we do have snr single target still and so i was like okay that's definitely still an option we can do um and he just quad uh, you know single targeted by the way uh but yeah so i go for the aoe with uh, margaret and then I go for the uh, single target with ultimate Eskinor because I felt like that would just kill. And then I just waste uh, Tarmiel's cards right there. It's kind of cleared under my hand. Um, but yeah, right there we do a lot of damage. The Eskinor single target. 
um, we hit into the uh, arm right there. It's gonna kill the arm, but then the uh, you know after uh, damage uh, is enough to actually kill him on the first phase. We move into the second phase here, where we actually do um, you know get a merge there on Tarmiel buff card. So that's really good. So now we have one rank three card done, and now we just have to you know kind of clear out our hand now, right? So we gotta make sure. Um, that we kind of clear out a hand and also we have to focus down the green um, You know shield uh, of the kumu, right? Um, the reason why you want to kill that is because um, The the stance that he puts up is really really annoying to deal with and you have to kill both sides anyway before you can actually um, You know kill the main uh, Main akumu himself. So, you know feel free to just like take him out on the left right here I was kind of banking on the fact that I could get uh, that exactly so we got a flood card and right here, I was like, okay, so we already have um, a buff card with Margaret, a rank three with Light Liz, and then a single target Esther, and that's it. That's literally all we have to do. So right here, I was kind of contemplating, but I do merge the uh, Flood card right there. We use it, and then we use the Escanor single target, because Escanor is on his last bit of Final Flame, by the way. So if you guys can, like, get it onto this exact turn... Um, this will probably give you the most amount of points because you'll have the most amount of stats on your ultimate Essener. And so uh, right here, um, it also is, I think, the second last turn for uh, Light Elizabeth's all stats. So as long as you can get as, as many uh, stacks into these characters and then let them finish the fight with the stacks, then you should be good. So right there, we target the uh, right uh, uh, arm right there. Um, and Lightless does 1.6 million damage, crazy. And then Ultimate Esner with the single target, even on HP defense, still should finish off the fight. Um, and yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. And there you go, the 12k scored there on the Hell Guild Boss, man. Um, and as you guys can see, we did clear all the missions as well. Um, so yeah, man, that's pretty much it in terms of how to actually go about clearing uh, this week's uh, Hell Knighthood boss. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. If you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the, in the comment section below. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a good rest of your day.